southern snack where life is too short to be serious what a journey it has been to secure the bag you might be wondering what what's the bag sir the bag the firecracker bundle yes they have a new firecracker um wrap at jimmy john's it's a jalapeno wrap colored red you get ghost pepper cheese a uh, slew of meats you know, the standard mix of a sub or a wrap at Jimmy John's. And you get these red chips, these red pepper chips. And that's the side too. But you get it in the wrap. So the other day, and, and you get a sandwich cookie, by the way. Confetti cookie with cream. Oh boy. Looks exciting. Sounds exciting. We're going to pose for the thumbnail here soon. But I just wanted to tell a quick story. Because, you know. Everybody's reviewed this by now that you care about or than me, right? So I I go online and I put this in my cart at the hefty price of zero dollars. That's a red flag, right? And so I'm like, you know what? It's zero dollars. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find out, right? We're we're gonna play a game. We're either gonna really regret this, not pay anything out anyways or we're gonna really win so we risk it i call them i'm like do y'all have the cookie do y'all have the chips yes we have both of those it's like okay good so we know it's not those that is making this order messed up but i didn't think about them not having the wrap because online they were charging for the wrap like individually you could buy the wrap for like nine dollars Okay, cool. Awesome. I roll up. Oh, we don't have the wrap. We can make it for you because we got everything else. We just don't have the wrap. I'm like, well, it was zero dollars. So I bought this whole big old bundle. Didn't pay anything. Got all this free food. Awesome. Awesome experience. Uh, but unfortunately, it hindered my chance of doing the review. Now, the wrap itself... I don't think this is going to taste much different. I would would have given it like an eight. Not enough heat. Maybe a seven and a half. It wasn't spicy enough. And I, from what I've heard, the, the wrap, the jalapeno wrap is not very spicy. So I'm prepared for it not to be all that spicy. The ghost pepper cheese, I can tell you, not spicy. The chips, they do have a pretty good heat profile. So we'll probably be heating up um, when we try those. But, it, you know, there's not so much of them in the sandwich where you're like, or in the wrap. People can call sandwich wrap sandwiches these days. But there's just not so many chips in there that it's like, whoo, 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 whoo. No, you ain't feeling whoo, 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 whoo. But you, you'll get a little bit of presence of the heat. So it looks intimidating, but you know, if, if you've been to Jimmy John's, there's never been something that's like going to kill you spicy, right? It's just not not how it is at Jimmy Jones. And I don't mind that, you know? So we got got a big week of things. And um, just seeing that Jersey Mike's has thrown their hat back out there. It's been years. And I'm going to have so much fun doing that video. It's been years. It's crazy. Like, I'm vibing to the fact that it's literally been years since they've done something new and what they did with, that was new last time was like a portobello philly cheesesteak not everybody likes mushrooms at least now you've got some spicy southwest things so it's it'll be interesting it'll be very interesting i'm gonna have a time i'm having a time with this we've been sitting here for four minutes just talking and y'all gonna get y'all gonna complain. There's gonna be a shorter form form review too. That might be a little bit more fun than this. But y'all gonna complain and I'm too long. And then this chick out there is gonna sit there for 12 minutes and y'all gonna mesmerize about how cute she is, ignore that she's even talking about the food, and you're gonna praise her in the comments. I I just don't know. Double standards, people, double standards. So yeah, let's try out the firecracker wrap. Then we got a little bit of smokiness to it. The wrap itself, as others have said, doesn't boast a lot of heat. I just don't think it adds that much to it. 
The flavor is pretty good. You know, just very meaty. Rather, there's turkey, salami. You know, there's a little bit of heat that echoes on. A little bit more heat than the, without the wrap, without the red wrap. But it's not like super spicy. It delivers on good flavor, but it's not spice that's going to kill you. Yeah. And it, it warrants like an eight. Like, it's very good. It's tasty. That ghost pepper cheese tastes really good. The chips add a nice crunch to it. The wrap tastes good. It's just not delivering on the heat level. So, I know some people might rank it lower because of that, but, oh well. Alright, Jimmy Chips. Spicy. Firecracker. Jimmy Chips. These might be hot. These might actually be looking like a flaming hot. I love the crunch of the kettle. These aren't as hot as I was expecting either. I would say hotter. It starts to ramp up a little bit when you eat a couple of them. Definitely spicier than the wrap. No question about that. Like it lingers a lot. Very reminiscent of Flamin' Hot. I like that they're kettle chips. I don't even know if you can get flaming Hot kettle chips. Remind me. Do they have those out there? I don't know. I don't remember. Um, so, I like them. I think I like them more than the, the, the wrap. I'll give them eight and a half. Delivers on the flavor. A little bit of sweetness there. So, I'm going to look at the packaging. Very cool, patriotic packaging there. All right. So, my cookie's starting to crumble. No, we're not at crumble cookies. So. Uh, yeah. So the bun was pretty expensive. I think it was like 15 something. So maybe not worth it, but you know. Look at that. Very patriotic. Very cute. Like me. Woo! Mmm. That is good. That is what a sandwich cookie should taste like. Mmm. Ain't no cream cheese in there. That's that smacks. They, they tell you don't say slaps because that's for music. And it slaps for music, but it smacks the food. But wow. That is, I'm going to have to eat that whole thing today. Like, I don't usually eat a whole cookie if I can help it. I try and, you know, break up what I eat. But, wow. 10 out of 10. Just that rich buttercream. Okay. That was the highlight. Wasn't expecting that. So, yeah, I, if you're feeling patriotic, I mean, I can't blame you for trying this. I especially at least get the cookie. The cookie is the star of the show. Wow. We ended up off with a bang. And with all the firecrackers in the world. I'm a firecracker. You know that? I can pop off at any moment. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. And I'll see y'all around. Yee! -yee!